What's up y'all? This is David Benjamin from HealthyWildAndFree.com. Today I want to talk about how to build your immunity to protect and neglect any virus that comes into your path. This whole coronavirus and COVID-19 thing has taken the world and the media by storm and I wanted to speak to you about your immunity, your strength, your vitality, your health, your wellness, and why it's so important more now than ever to be aware and understand how tactically and strategically you can boost your immunity and project, not project, but reject viruses from ever inhabiting your body in the first place. So first things first, I think it's very important to set the frame for the importance and the value of viruses in the first place. So what most people aren't aware of and what the media is definitely not talking about at all is that viruses are a natural mechanism of the body. That's right. Viruses are actually created by the body to clean up bacteria that bacteria could not clean up itself or cells that have become waste. So viruses actually have a specific use in the body and they are not bad as they are labeled. Yes, there is a point in which the body has a viral load that is too high and at that point it becomes an issue. So it's really important to understand that viruses have a place, they have a reason, they have a purpose in our body and in our life. And to simply look at something and say it's good or bad is very linear and it's a not, it's a highly uneducated way to assess these things in our lives. And I mean, I could give countless examples. Bacteria, for example, bacteria, you know, we say good and bad and that's to some degree true, but really it comes down to the harmony of the bacteria in the gut. So it's not really that there's good or bad bacteria, it's that the bacteria is in harmony for the digestive processes to work properly. Same with fungus, you know, we say, oh, fungus is bad and fungus leads to candida and yeast infections. Well, hold on. Mushrooms are part of the fungi kingdom and they are healthy and they boost our immunity and they give us uh, so many tremendous benefits. Uh, viruses being the same. So it's really important to back up and take a big picture, high level view of what a virus is, what bacteria is, what um, you know, fungus is. Same with cholesterol. You know, we, they say good and bad cholesterol. That's simply not true. Cholesterol, it's not good and bad. It's about the ratio of HDL and LDL. So really more than anything, what matters is the ratio and how high that load is in your body in general. So for example, with viruses, depending on the medical expert you read from, there are three to five, up to three to five viruses in our bodies at any given time that our body needs and utilize to clean up cellular waste and bacterial waste. And if we don't have these viruses, our body becomes overloaded with these cells that are toxic and bacteria that is toxic. And that is an issue that because our body needs these to be removed in order for the flow of energy, the flow of the lymphatic system, the flow of our circulatory system, the flow of everything to be healthy. So this whole campaign that the media has projected upon us in the last few weeks, in the last month is simply ridiculous. And I would encourage you to just number one, take a deep breath, like literally right now, take a deep breath. Seriously, we need to breathe, we need to relax, we need to calm the hell down. The media has been pushing fear, the government has been pushing fear, and it, that projection of fear and anxiety and stress has led to more health detriment than the virus itself, in my personal belief, from what I've seen. Economically, right now, 3.28 million people filed for unemployment in the U.S. last week alone. Think about that, 3.28 million people don't know where their money is gonna come from, therefore don't know where their next meal is going to come from once they run out of money, or their shelter, and their bare necessities for life and living. So it's really important to understand that with all that's going on in the world, to not feed into fear, fear and anxiety weaken the immune system. When we live in fear and when we live in anxiety, guess what? We breathe shallow. We breathe from the chest up. When we breathe shallow, we, we're, we're panting. We're dogs. You're not a dog. You're a human being. We need to breathe deeply into our diaphragm, diaphragmatic breathing. So breathe deeply. Breathe consciously and breathe mindfully. So just take a deep breath. Take a moment to take a deep breath. That's the first thing I would ask of you is to take a deep breath because 
calming the nervous system, getting into the parasympathetic nervous system from the sympathetic nervous system. The sympathetic nervous system is the fight or flight, it's the anxiety, it's the stress. The parasympathetic nervous system is the rest and digest system. The parasympathetic nervous system you are in when you're breathing slowly, deeply, and calmly, okay? So take a deep breath and realize that this is in your hands and your control. And you got this and I believe in you. And what we're gonna talk about today is how to protect your body and how to improve your immunity and be more immune to viruses or the viral load, the ratio of viruses that your body has at any given time. So if your body has three to five viruses, it's completely fine. Those viruses are doing work, they're cleaning up cells, they're cleaning up waste, cleaning up, cleaning up bacteria. However, if your body has a viral load that is too high, what happens is that it becomes difficult for the body to utilize that energy elsewhere. Everything in the body is energy. Our entire system is comprised of energy and energetic exchange. The circulatory system, the heart, the lymphatic system, all of these systems in our bodies have energy flowing through them. Oxygen, hydration, nutrients, mitochondrial production of ATP. Energy is the currency of our cells. And when we are unhealthy, when we are sick, when we are living in fear, when we are living in anxiety, we give our energy and our power to others. We give that away freely when really it is within ourselves and it is our control and our truth and our alignment and our breath and our groundedness and our centeredness that brings us back home, that gives us the clarity and discernment to make wise choices and create, to create distinction of information in our lives so that we can move in the direction of our health, vitality, and wellness, okay? So take a deep breath. I'm here for you. I didn't go anywhere. And the power is in your hands. I want you to know that. The power is in your hands and the power is in your breath. And the power is in your ability to be clear, to slow down, to breathe, and to be calm. Your immunity is in your hands. It's a very important thing to remember. With what the media is doing right now, with the push, of this vac, well, I'll get to the vaccine in a minute, but with the push of COVID-19, with the push of the coronavirus, they're utilizing this as a fear campaign. And fear and anxiety in and of itself is not healthy. It is not healthy to live in fear. It is not healthy to be anxious. What is anxiety? Let me ask you this, what is anxiety? Please answer that in the, in the comments below. What is anxiety? To me, anxiety is living out of the present moment, right? Anxiety is living away from your presence, away from the present moment. Your present moment is here now. I am with you here now. You and I are engaging in a contextual dialogue here and now. And for you to breathe and for me to breathe and to be present and to be focused and to be listening and to not be distracted is to be present here now. That is the start, that is the inception of all great things in life, whether it's health, wealth, vitality, purpose, your dharma, your calling, whatever it may be. So with that being said, you have the power and control over your immunity. And for the media to tell you that you don't, for Big Pharma to tell you that you don't, for the government, for the government to quarantine and social distance and essentialize and non-essentialize our lives is absolutely ridiculous and absurd for so many reasons, so many reasons. But, I'll get into that in a later video. Today I want to talk about immunity. I want to talk about what you can do to boost your immunity. Number one, your immune system is located mostly in your gut. 80% or so of your immune system is located right here in your gut. Your gut health contributes to immune health. So if you're taking care of your gut health, your immune health and that go hand in hand. They correlate. What can you do for your gut health? What can you do for immune health? Number one, eat a whole foods diet. Fruits, vegetables, sprouts, seeds, nuts, organic, free-range, grass-fed, lean meats, protein, fish, beef, chicken, organ meats, things like that. Get good in and out will be given good, okay? Get good, just have a healthy diet. It's not that hard, it's not rocket science. Number two, get outside, get fresh air and sunshine. Look at how beautiful it is out here. Get outside and get fresh air. 
breathe and get sunshine. Sunshine is vitamin D. Fresh air moves your lymphatic system. Movement moves your lymphatic system and purifies and cleanses and purges toxicities and impurities from your bodies, from your body and from your cells, from your bodies, all of our bodies. <laughs> so get outside, get sunshine, move, breathe, hydrate, be active, be in flow, continue to move. I know a lot of you are quarantined. A lot of you are, you know, whatever. Some people are even getting misdemeanors around the country. In California, Michigan, where I'm from, the number two state for coronavirus cases, um, they're very strict there still. Get outside. Find a way to get outside, even if, even if it's on your balcony or your porch or your backyard or whatever it is, the park. Go for a hike in the woods. Get away from people. Get outside. This is a time for reflection. This is a time for discernment. This is a time for truth. This is a time to ask bigger questions in your life. This time is a gift. It's not a curse. It's a gift. It's all about your perception. If you see this as a curse, if you see this as detriment, then it will be so. If you see this time as a gift, if, if you see this time as a blessing, then it will be so also. Perception dictates a huge portion of your life. So see the positives. See what you can gain. See what you can receive from this experience. Your immunity requires certain things to be healthy and to work optimally. Probiotics, or excuse me, prebiotics, P-R-E, not probiotics, prebiotics, which are precursors, which are essentially forms of fiber, are essential for the digestive and assimilation processes in your gut. So get prebiotics in your gut and probiotics in your gut. If you're getting prebiotics and probiotics, your body will have the bacterial balance that it needs and it will be able to absorb nutrients that build the foundation of your immune system. So get prebiotics in your gut. Um, fiber, fibrous things have prebiotics. Uh, different roots, different uh, fibers are great sources of prebiotics. And then um, also probiotics. Kimchi, sauerkraut, water kefir, kombucha, fermented and cultured vegetables, cultured and fermented beets, turnips. Any cultured vegetables are great. Okay? Get those things in your diet. Get vitamin C. Vitamin C is a savior in so many ways. There's so much research. Vitamin C is actually the most researched nutrient, the most researched antioxidant, the most researched vitamin in the world. There's more scientific literature on vitamin C in the world than any other nutrient. It boosts immunity. It helps your body repair, recover, heal, restore, all of it. So get a lot of vitamin C in your diet. I personally take something called Camu Camu Berry. It's in a powdered form. It's from Peru. It's the richest source of vitamin C in the world. And there's a product I take called E3 Live from uh, Renew Me Blend. I'll link that up below in the description. Highly recommend that. It has Camu Camu as well as a lot of minerals and trace minerals from different forms of algae. So it's a green powder. It has a lot of minerals and trace minerals and Camu Camu. So it's got a lot of vitamin C and minerals and trace minerals, which are all really beneficial for dealing with stress. Because right now, what the world is seeing, what we're seeing at large, is an attack on our stressors, an attack on our, uh, our peace of mind. So it's really infliction of stress, infliction of anxiety, and pair with that the down regulation of our immune system. So take care of those two components. De-stress, take care of that. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Keep breathing. Focus on your breath. Come back to your breath. Just remind yourself to breathe and be calm and at peace. And then take care of the nutritional movement, sleep, and health and wellness components of your immune system. So vitamin C is great. I'll link that product up below. Vitamin D, get outside and get sunshine. Uh, aloe vera is a great source. Uh, it has vitamin D in it. I don't know if it's a great source, but it has vitamin D. Just learned that the other day, so I thought I'd share. Um, uh, mushrooms are a source of vitamin D. Uh, there's not a lot of plants that are sources of vitamin D, but mushrooms, aloe vera, and then um, you can look up sources of vitamin D, but those are, those are a few starts, a few ways to start getting vitamin D in your diet. Uh, and then sunshine. Get outside and get sunshine. Another important thing to keep in mind is through all this, there's a lot of ridiculousness. There's a lot of craziness. There's a lot of lies. There's a lot of uh, preconceived notions. There's a lot of rumors. I've never in my life, even my dad, my dad's 60 years old. My dad's like, I've never seen anything like this in my life. Of course, I haven't either. I'm 30. So right now, there's so much chatter. There's so much noise. And there's so much lies and misconceptions and, and fear and, and anxiety being pushed. But you do not have to accept this in your life. If you simply breathe and be at peace and focus on what grounds you, what keeps you stable, what keeps you whole, 
and reconnecting and reassessing those values and where that energy exchange is happening in your life, you'll find that this is op an opportunity to grow closer to your loved ones, to grow closer to yourself, to grow closer to your purpose, your dharma, your fulfillment, your passion, your mission. This is the best time in your life to reconnect with your purpose, your passion, and your relationship with yourself and the relationship with the ones that you love. It really is. It really is. I believe that fully. This is the time to reconnect with yourself and the ones that you love. And if you skip this opportunity, you're going to miss all the gifts, all the lesson, lessons, and all the blessings that come from that. So focus on your health, focus on your immunity. One more thing you can do is laugh. Laughter is the antidote to stress and anxiety. Laughter literally clears blockages and pathways that stress and anxiety hold on to in your body. The, there's something called the thoracic, T-H-O-R-A-C-I-C, -C, thoracic duct, like a duct, like a D-U-C-T duct in our bodies that goes from the neck region down to our lower back region. It's the largest lymphatic uh, duct in our body. And if you laugh, if you simply laugh, the thoracic duct widens, right? This duct widens, think of it like a, a pipe, it widens 300%. And by laughing and widening that 300%, lymphatic fluid detoxifies from our body at a much faster rate. And when that happens, our lymphatic system is healthier. So laughter is one of the healthiest things that you can do for your health, for your wellness, for your vitality, and your well-being. And get outside and run, like these eight-year-old girls that ran past me or walk. I prefer walking or sprinting. I personally wouldn't recommend long distance running. That's for another video. Uh, but really laugh, laugh, watch comedies, get in, get in joy, be embody, embody joy, embody humor, embody lightheartedness. Lightheartedness is one of the most beautiful gifts that you can give to yourself and give to those around you during this time. So embody joy, embody humor, and allow the lymphatic system to be detoxified 300% faster simply by laughing. Laughter directly boosts immunity, but also detoxifies the lymphatic system, and the lymphatic and immune system are directly connected. So it helps to purge toxins that are in the fluid system called the lymphatic system in the body, and allows for new fluid and new hydration to come in and for your body to have more flow, more ease, and just more grace during this time of stress and anxiety. Right now is a time in our lives that we have more opportunity to grow, to be healthy, to be whole, and to take care of our health better than we ever have before. And this is a test, this is a challenge, that's all that it is, that's the way I'm viewing it. Personally in my life, to be completely frank, to be completely honest with you, I've had a challenge during this time. Because sometimes when you know too much, you inflict stress and anxiety on yourself. So take care of your health, take care of your wellness, and last and final thing I want to share is, I highly recommend questioning the vaccine. Uh, take some time to research it. The majority of the immune system is located in the gut, about 80%. Vaccines are injected into the arm, directly into the bloodstream, which bypasses the immune system, bypasses the gut, and goes right into our bloodstream, and then it can cross the blood-brain barrier. If a vaccine was created for immunity, it would be something we take orally to go to where the majority of our immune system is. So I highly recommend avoiding the corona vaccine, or any vaccine for that matter, and uh, question those things for yourself. Click the link below to check out Your Supplements Suck, and please like, favorite, comment, share this video, and I'll see you in the next video. Have a great day. Bye.